Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. This is lesson number 7 in the examination preparation series for the first year engineering students. And in this video, we'll go through differential equations from the past paper questions. That's why I named it exam oriented. And as always, the most important question and make sure you follow these five points. The most important, be ready with a pen and a paper. And second thing, work out all the problems along with us. Don't just watch these videos like a movie, but work out the problems along with us. And of course, point number three, four and five. And with that, let's start lesson number seven. And most of the questions are from your past year's question paper. So, question number one, solve the differential equation d square minus 3d plus 2 of y is equal to cos hyperbolic x. You can check proper mathematical dictionaries and you'll see that you have to pronounce this as cos x. Uh, if you want, you can uh, read this as cos hyperbolic x. Anyway, cos x will be better. Anyway, in class 12, you have learned that cos hyperbolic x or our cos x is e to the power x plus e to the power minus x, the whole divided by 2. So, this is actually type 1. I'll repeat, this is actually type 1. So, let's start. The auxiliary equation is m square minus 3m plus 2 is equal to 0 and that implies m is equal to 1 comma 2 the roots are distinct and I'm sure you're very good with this now c1 e to the power 1x plus c2 e to the power 2x yeah by the way one warning if you're watching this video uh, for the first time make sure uh, you're good with uh, capital D method or you can watch lesson number 3, 4, 5, 6 and then watch lesson number 7. Because in 3, 4, 5, 6 we learn type 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 4. And then oil equation. So make sure you're good with all those techniques and then start watching lesson number 7. Okay, now the particular integral. The particular integral is 1 by the operator plus 2 and the right hand side but the right hand side is um, what do you call e power x plus e to the power minus x the whole divided by 2. Now look at this long back itself I told you this is something like an integral it's an operator. Now tell me what will you do if you have integral or derivative of uh, e power x plus e power minus x by 2. I'm sure you'll take this constant outside the operator. Same thing with differentiation and same thing with particular integral. So I'm going to write this as 1 by 2. I'm going to take this outside the operator. This is just an operator. And then 1 by d square minus 3d plus 2 of e power x plus e power minus x. Now tell me what will you do if you want to integrate f plus g? Yeah, you'll split this. You'll write this as integral f plus integral g. Yeah, same thing with the operator. Okay, so the next step is equal to 1 by 2 and I'll put a big bracket. So the operator e power x plus 1 by d square minus 3d plus 2 e power minus x. Now this is type 1, again type 1. So 1 by 2 into, oh wait a minute, wait a minute. When I plug in, do you remember type 1? You have to plug in whoever is along with x. So if you plug in 1, because this is actually 1 into x, you get 1 plus 2 minus 3, that is 0. So what is the technique? You put an x and 1 by differentiate this part. 2d minus 3 e power x. 
plus. Now for this we have to plug in minus 1 because this is minus 1 into x. So 1 by minus 1 the whole square minus 3 into minus 1 plus 2 into e power minus x. And that is equal to 1 by 2 x times now we can plug in 1 so we are going to get 2 into 1 minus 3 that will be um, minus x e power x plus e to the power minus x the whole divided by 6 now what is the general solution yeah you are right cf plus pi the cf is over here so c1 e power x plus c2 e to the power 2x plus 1 by 2 into minus x e power x plus e power minus x by 6. Let's move on to the next question. So please write the question. Second question. Solve the differential equation d square plus d plus 1 of y is equal to e to the power 2x plus 1 the whole square. Okay. So as always, what's the first thing to do? Oxal equation. And that is m square plus m plus 1 equal to 0. Implies you can use the calculator or you can use any method you like. Anyway, you are going to end up with 1 by 2 plus or minus i root 3 by 2. And that implies our CF is y is equal to e to the power minus 1 by 2x times c1 cos root 3 by 2x plus c2 sin root 3 by 2x. Okay, so this is very easy. Now the main part. So the pi is equal to 1 by d square plus d plus 1 of the right hand side. And what's the right hand side? This quantity. And I'm going to expand it. a plus b the whole square. a square what is a power m the whole power n yeah a to the power m into n and that implies e power 2x the whole square will be equal to e power 4x i'll repeat i'm going to use a plus b the whole square and that is how i got this plus 2 e to the power 2x plus 1 and i'll ask you one more question how do you integrate f plus g plus h or how do you differentiate f plus g plus h? You will use something called linear property. And of course, this particular integral also have that property. So you just split the operator. So we are going to get 1 by d square plus d plus 1 of e power 4x plus 1 by d square plus d plus 1. 2 e to the power 2x plus 1 by d square plus d plus 1 into of 1. 1 means e to the power 0x. Okay, so we learned all these things in type 1. And now you can write the answer by yourself. Anyway, I'll initiate it. Um, here you plug in 4. So you're going to get 16 plus 4. That is 20, 21. So e to the power 4x by 21 and then we take this 2 outside and then you plug in 2 so 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 1 7 so 2 by 7 e power 2x and finally you'll plug in 0 here you're going to get 1 and then cf plus pi that's the answer now let's move on to the third question and that is solve the differential equation d square minus 1 of y equal to sine hyperbolic x or shine x or sin x. Yeah. Okay. So long, long back, you might have learned sine hyperbolic x is e power x minus e power minus x, the whole divided by 2. So now it's time to use the formula. So first, Oxal equation m square minus 1 equal to 0 implies 
m equal to 1 or minus 1. So, our cf is y equal to c1 e power x plus c2 e to the power minus x. So, keep this separately because you will need at the last. Now, for the particular integral and that is 1 by d square minus 1 of our sine hyperbolic x or change x or shine x and you just plug in this value e power x minus e power minus x by 2. So, what is the first thing to do? Yeah, you take this 1 by 2 outside. So, we end up with something like this. Now, what to do next? Yeah, 1 by 2. Now, you can use linear property and split it. So, you put a big bracket, you are going to get 1 by d square minus 1 e power x minus 1 by d square minus 1 e power minus x. Okay, now look at this. If you plug in, this is type 1, but and you are supposed to plug in the coefficient of x. And this is e power x, which means e power 1 into x. So, when you plug in 1 here, you are going to get 0. Same thing is going to happen because minus 1, the whole square is 1 and 1 minus 1 will be 0. So, I hope you remember the method. You put 1x and differentiate the denominator with respect to d and plug in 1. S minus 1 by 2d and e power minus x. That's it. This step was very important. So, 1 by 2 x by 2, you plug in 1, you get 1 and you plug in minus 1, you get plus 1. So, plus x by 2 and simplify. It's your, and the general solution is y equal to cf plus pi. Don't forget to substitute, you may lose marks. Okay, now the next question, this is very important. So, before we start, I am going to discuss a few trigonometric formulae. First one, sin square something. I am not worried about the angle. So, this is actually 1 by 2, 1 minus cos double the angle. Whatever you get here, double it over here. And cos square something. So, let it be a triangle and this will be 1 by 2, 1 plus cos 2 times the same thing. <coughs> so, you can note down these formulae. I am sure you learned this in class 10 and then in class 11 integration and in class 12 you might have applied. Anyway, we want these formula. Okay, so write the question. Solve the differential equation d square plus d of y is equal to sine square 2x. So, what is the first thing to do? Auxiliary equation that is m square plus m equal to 0. So, m into m plus 1 equal to 0. So, m equal to 0 comma minus 1 and the complementary function is y is equal to c1 e to the power 0x plus c2 e to the power minus 1 into x. That is y equal to c1 plus c2 e power minus x. Okay, now comes the particular integral. Before we start with the particular integral, I want you to focus on sine square. What is sine square something? 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos, double that thing. For example, if I have sine square 8x, I can manipulate this using the first identity and I can write 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos double the angle that will be 16x. Okay, So, now look at this our pi will be 1 by d square plus d of sin square x but sin square x is 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos double the angle and double the angle will be 4x. Now, what to do? Yeah, as usual. You take this 1 by 2 outside and you can split this 1 by d square plus d of 1 minus this. So, you get 1 and 1 by d square plus d of cos 4x. 
Now I'll discuss one more line. What will happen to this 1? 1 will be e to the power 0x. Uh, here we plug in 0 and of course this is type 2. So type 1 over here and type 2 over here. Okay, now let's continue with this. Okay, so this is equal to 1 by 2. Now look at this. We are supposed to plug in 0. And if you plug in 0, you are going to get 0 in the denominator. So what's the method? Put 1x and differentiate the denominator with respect to d. And write the same thing. Minus, uh, who is along with x? This is type 2. Type 2, the method is we have 4 and 4 squared gives me 16. And I take negative of 16, I get negative 16. Now I'll replace d square with minus 16. So 1 by minus 16 plus d of cos 4x. And that will be 1 by 2. And we get, we plug in 0, so we get 1, so you end up with x. Minus 1 by can you see d minus 16? So I multiply by the conjugate d plus 16. And the denominator becomes d minus 16 times d plus 16 of cos 4x. And that will be equal to 1 by 2 x minus d plus 16 by d square minus 256 cos 4x. And that will be equal to 1 by 2 into x minus d plus 16 by what will you do with this d square? You are supposed to replace d square with minus 16. So minus 16 minus 256 of cos 4x and that is equal to 1 by 2 x plus 266 72 yeah, 1 by 272 d plus 16 of cos 4x and you open the bracket. Now let's move on to the next question. It is similar. So the question is solve the differential equation d square y by dx square plus y equal to cos square x and that implies d2y plus y equal to cos square x and that implies d2 plus 1 of y is equal to cos square x. So the auxiliary equation is equal to m square plus 1 equal to 0 and that gives me m equal to 0 plus or minus i. You can use a calculator. So the CF is y is equal to e power 0x and c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. Yeah, I know I am going a bit fast, but we already learned a lot of problems in lesson 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is just revision. And in case you feel I am going a little bit fast, you can pause the video and check, the, check out the method. And if you still have doubt, don't forget, contact us from our website www.stmatube.com okay now let's go for the second part pi the pi is 1 by d square plus 1 of cos square x before we started these two questions i gave you the formula look at this cos square something it looks like a pizza is 1 by 2 1 plus cos double the angle so if it is 2x over here, it becomes 4x. If it is x by 2, it becomes x. And if it is x, it becomes twice x. So the pi becomes 1 by d square plus 1 into 1 by 2, 1 plus cos double the angle. And you can do the rest. So let's move on to the next question. So before we start, you can check out these four formulae. And remember, if you are in need of trigonometric formulae or the differentiation formulae or integration formulae, check out the formulae list in our website. Just visit www.stmatube.com 
And now look at this. <coughs> we need this for these formulae. Now you can write the question. Solve the differential equation d square plus 1 of y is equal to sin 2x into sin x. Okay, before we start, I'll tell you the method is simple just like the previous problem. All you have to do is you have to apply the formula for sin a cos sin a cos b or sin a sin b or cos a cos b, etc. etc. Now the most important thing, I will strongly recommend that you keep the bigger angle for the first function. Otherwise, you may have to use the result sin minus theta equal to minus sin theta and cos minus theta is equal to cos theta. Okay, so we are going to use the last formula sin a sin b. So this right side will become minus 1 by 2 cos a plus b. So that will be cos 3x minus cos x. Try it yourself. Now let's move on to the next question. And that is from 2074. Yeah. So please write. Solve the differential equation d square plus 2d plus 1 of y is equal to e power x plus x square. So as always the auxiliary equation m square plus 2m plus 1 equal to 0. That gives me m equal to minus 1 minus 1. So the CF is c1 plus c2x times e to the power minus 1 into x. Now time for pi and that is equal to 1 by operator and I can see that this is d plus 1 the whole square isn't it? d square plus 2d plus 1 of e power x plus x square and that is equal to 1 by d plus 1 the whole square of e power x plus 1 by d plus 1 the whole square of x square and that is equal to so look at this this is type 1 and this is type 3 in type 1 the method is you replace d with the coefficient of x so i get 1 plus 1 2 2 square 4 so that's done e power x by 4 and for this uh, i need the expansion 1 plus x the whole power minus 2 because I know this is going to become 1 plus d the whole square and it goes to the numerator and that will be 1 plus d the whole power minus 2 of x square. And we need one more thing, derivative of x square is 2x, the second order derivative of x square is 2 and third order onwards it will be 0. And the formula is 1 minus because I told you the trick, if it is plus and minus it will be alternatively plus minus plus minus. 1 minus 2x plus 3x square minus dot 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 and that gives me e power x by 4 plus 1 minus 2d plus 3d square that's it because I know from the third derivative onwards it will be 0. Now open the brackets and we get e power x by 4 plus x square minus 2 times the derivative that is 4x plus 3 times the second order derivative and that will be 6. Then general solution is cf plus pi. And the next question that's from 2072. So the question is solve the differential equation d square minus d minus 2 of y is equal to e power x plus sin 2x. Try to work out this question by yourself. We have done a lot of questions in this type. This is type 1 and this is type 2. And another question from 2069. Solve the differential equation d squared plus 2d of y is equal to e power x plus e power minus x. So both are type 1, type 1. So try these questions. 
and now from 2073 a little bit important so I'll work out that question for you okay let's try this question so the question is solve the differential equation x square d square y by dx square minus 2x dy by dx plus 2 into y is equal to 1 by x so clearly do you remember this yeah from lesson 6 this is Euler's equation and how do I know it's Euler's equation if I convert this into capital D I get something like this and I take y common now I can see clearly an Euler's equation or the homogeneous equation I hope you remember the method in every Euler's problem for the right side the substitution is x equal to e power z z equal to ln x or log x and then we put theta or delta or d dash to be d by dz and for the left hand side x into d will be replaced with theta x square into d square will be replaced with theta theta minus 1 so we end up with um, theta into theta minus 1 minus 2 into theta plus 2 of y is equal to 1 by x that means 1 by e power z and that will be e to the power minus z okay so we will simplify this a little bit and that gives me theta square minus theta minus 2 that will be 3 theta plus 2 of y is equal to e power minus z now it's an ordinary differential equation so the auxiliary equation is m square minus 3m plus 2 equal to 0 so m equal to 1 2 now the complementary function I'm going to use red so that you don't forget the complementary function is c1 e to the power is it x no 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 there is no more x so please be aware of it plus c2 e to the power 2z and that is y equal to c1 what is e power z do you remember yeah e power z is x so this will become x and this is actually e power z the whole square isn't it so this becomes x square please put it in a box so that you can use it later okay now the pi pi is 1 by theta square minus 3 theta plus 2 and the right side is e power minus z so basically this is 1 by d square minus 3d plus 2 of e power minus x that is type 1 so we replace theta with minus 1 so I'm going to get 1 plus 3 plus 2 e power minus z and that will be e power minus z by 6 but e power z is x so e power minus z is 1 by e power z that is 1 by x so we get 1 by 6x then the usual process cf plus pi now let's check out one more question and that is from 2071 and this is very 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 important um, the question is solve the differential equation please mark it very 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 important x d square y by dx square plus 2 dy by dx is equal to 6x it looks like homogeneous but it is not exactly homogeneous you may feel that this is Cauchy Euler equation the problem is I told you x should be with d and x square should be with d square and x cube should be with d cube and so on but along with d square I can see only x so don't forget the method is so easy you multiply throughout by x so you get x square d square y by dx square plus 2x dy by dx 
is equal to 6 x square that's it that's it now you just convert it into capital D you're going to get x D of y is equal to 6 x square and then what's the substitution let's discuss that you put x equal to e power z and z equal to log x this is for the right hand side and you set theta equal to d by dz and finally you end up with x into d being theta x square d square is equal to theta times theta minus 1 etc and we get theta into theta minus 1 plus 2 into theta of y is equal to so what is this um, that will be 6 e power 2 sir. now I, I hope you can handle this problem by yourself so try it now one more question um, so please try that it's also from 2071 Chaitra <coughs> So the question is x square d square plus x into d plus 1 of y is equal to sine log x square. Okay, clearly this is Cauchy Euler, but I want to discuss a little bit about this right side. Now look at this log has a property log a to the power b is actually b times log a. I'll repeat log a to the power b is b times log a so all you have to do is you have to apply that property so you get x square d square plus x into d plus 1 of y is equal to sine 2 log x okay now this is Cauchy Euler so we go for the regular substitution put x equal to e power z z equal to log x and theta equal to d by d z and x d equal to theta x square d square equal to theta theta minus 1 etc so you substitute so the left side becomes theta times theta minus 1 plus theta plus 1 of y is equal to sine 2 times what is log x look at this yeah z and this is type 2 and it's in your control now and I think we have to discuss one last question to so solve the equation this is slightly different and to be honest this equation is called Legender's equation what do you call this equation Legender's equation it looks like Cauchy Euler but instead of x in Cauchy Euler you will have something like ax plus b I'll repeat in Cauchy Euler you see x that means you put a equal to 1 and b equal to 0 so this is a generalized case of Cauchy Euler and the name of this equation is Legender's equation anyway let's go for an example solve the differential equation 2x minus 1 the whole square d square y by dx square minus 4 into 2x minus 1 dy by dx plus 8 into y is equal to 8 into x so the method is similar analogous so you put 2x minus 1 equal to e power z so z will be equal to log 2x minus 1 to be honest we had to write ln 2x minus 1 or log 2x minus 1 to the base c uh, but in most of the books I saw which is related to your university they write just log 2x minus 1 and we set theta is equal to d by d z just like Cauchy Euler and then we write 2x minus 1 into d is equal to 2 theta 2x minus 1 the whole square into d square will be 2 square theta theta minus 1 now I hope you understood and one more very 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 important thing we had to extract the value of x from here so that we can substitute on the right hand side 
so that's not a big deal x is equal to e power z plus 1 the whole divided by 2 simplify this this will be 2x minus 1 the whole square and this is d2y minus 4 into 2x minus 1 so this is dy plus 8 of y is equal to 8x and now we plug in the value which we already discussed that is 4 theta into theta minus 1 minus 4 into 2 theta plus 8 of y is equal to do you remember the value yeah this one that is 8 times e to the power z plus 1 by 2 and that gives me a pretty decent equation that is 4 theta square minus 12 theta and plus 8 of y is equal to 4 times e to the power z plus 1 and the rest I am sure you can manage by yourself. So with this video um, we complete the capital D type. And in the next video, we will learn one more very important type, which I've seen in many question papers, that is the linear equations and equations reducible to linear equations. They're called Bernoulli's equations. So till then, bye.